Hi folks, one name you'll hear time and time again in the music scene is Boss. Boss creates some of the most well-loved guitar pedals, and in this video we feature five amazing Boss pedals you just have to have on your board. Ok, let's get into it. Here are the top five best must-have Boss pedals. The fifth product on our list is the Boss DS1 Distortion Pedal. The Boss DS1 Distortion Pedal is a classic and an icon in the world of guitar effects. When introduced, it created a revolution in the world of distortion pedals, which previously produced a muddy and loose sound. Boss DS1 has a unique distortion circuit that allows it to produce a hard edge gain and smooth sustain even at high gain settings. It also boasts a versatile influence on all genres of music, from jazz to hard rock. The Boss DS1 doesn't mask the guitar's original sound and style, allowing users to jump from one genre of music to another while still using the Boss DS1 distortion pedal. The great aspect of this pedal is that it can function as a booster when you use it at low distortion levels. It features three knobs, the level, tone and distortion controls, which allow you to pull out a range of tonalities by cranking the knobs up or down. Don't let the small packaging of this pedal fool you, because despite its small and lightweight appearance, the Boss pedal is housed in a stomp-ready metal box with a rubberized stomp area for extra durability. Here's something you should know before buying the Boss DS1 distortion pedal. Some users feel it lacks volume. Whether you want a gritty sound that tears through the speaker or a fuzzy distorted effect, the Boss DS1 will not disappoint. The fourth product on our list is the Boss CE2W Chorus Pedal. The Boss CE2W was a craft chorus pedal is the modernised version of the beloved CE1 pedal of the 70s. It has a no-fuss interface with connections that are easy to handle. You can power it using the 9V DC socket on the back of the pedal or using the Boss battery compartment. There's also an extra output port that lets you connect your signal to two amps. This gives you a spatial effect that swirls around other instruments you're playing with. There's a rate control to modulate how long it takes to transition from the beginning of the effect to the end. The depth knob controls how much modulation is applied to your signal. You can go from a tight and subtle effect to a thicker, more in-your-face sound. It features the Waza mode control, a three-way switch that lets you choose between three classic Boss Chorus effects. The standard setting has a crisp and responsive effect. The middle one is a chorus sound with a deeper modulation, and the last one has a fantastic vibrato quality. Here's something you should know before buying the Boss CE2W. Once you start using the Boss CE2W, you might not want to switch chorus pedals again. If you're looking for a Boss quality build with great effects that you can experiment with, the Boss CE2W is the perfect chorus pedal. The third product on our list is the Boss SY1 Synthesizer Pedal. If you're in the market for a synthesizer pedal, the Boss SY1 might be just what you're looking for. The first thing we'll look at is its construction. The SY1 has a compact and rugged body, perfect for guitarists trying to save space on the pedal boards. It's also light, weighing only one pound or half a kilogram. The Boss SY1 is easy to get used to. It has four knobs that act as its primary controls. As for sound, this synth pedal features eight types of synth sounds, each with 11 variations. Boss offers you further control over your sound by allowing you to tweak parameters like tone depth, rate, effect amount and the direct signal. The eight synth types are lead, pad, bass, strings, organ, bell, sound effects and pulsating sounds. The lead synth is great for soloing single notes while the pad type is perfect for chords and layered sounds. Another fun feature of this pedal is that it comes with 121 sounds. The Boss SY1 works like a regular stock box, so you won't have any issues integrating it with your other pedals on your board. Here's something you should know before buying the Boss SY1. It can be a little intimidating for beginners. If you're looking for a synthesizer pedal with a rugged body and endless sound effect possibilities, the Boss SY1 is a fantastic choice. The second product on our list is the Boss RV6 Reverb Pedal. The Boss RV6 had a tough act to follow as the successor to the very popular RV5. It boasts a compact and solid body, built to withstand time as this is a pedal you'll be using a lot. At just under one pound in weight, or less than half a kilogram, it's very convenient to travel with. The RV6 has eight different modes. The first is Spring, a classic reverb style that you'll find in vintage amps. It's a handy feature as you'll find it is used in pop and rock genre. 
There's also Plate, which is another oldie but goodie reverb style. It was popular in the 60s and 70s, so you'll find it on a lot of high gain rock music. It has a brighter tone than Spring, with a matching element of decay. Next is Hall, which simulates reverberations in, you guessed it, large halls. The room mode features a short decay effect, emulating a small to medium sized room. You can't have a boss reverb pedal without the modulate mode. This mode gives a longer decay with a dreamy quality and chorus modulation that extends your notes. It sounds beautiful and is a fantastic effect to have in your arsenal. There's also Shimmer, which has a polyphonic quality to it. And finally, Dynamic is a bit more complex. It has the reverb increase when you play fewer notes and decrease as you play more. Here's something you should know before buying the Boss RV6. It doesn't come with a power lead, which some users may dislike. If you're looking for a pedal that will grow with your music, you'll love the Boss RV6. It comes at a great price with useful features that will work for most genre. The first product on our list is the Boss RC5 loop pedal. The Boss RC5 is a compact loop pedal that packs a punch. The construction is solid with a lightweight body that weighs just under one pound or 450 grams. You won't have any trouble navigating the pedal with its large LCD. It boasts multicoloured backlighting to help you keep track of your current mode. Boss doesn't skimp on sound quality with the RC5. You get 32-bit audio which means you can overdub to your heart's content and still get clear sound without any distortion. There are 99 memory slots for phrases and a whopping 13 hours of recording time. This gives you plenty of room to experiment and get your music to the next level. The RC5 has a battery life of 2 hours and can be powered using the usual 9 volt power supply. On the sides of the case, you'll find the main input and outputs. The left is home to two 6.3mm jacks that act as a stereo output. There's also a jack on the other side that lets you connect foot pedals or switches. If you want to save your loop tracks for future use, you can connect the pedal to a PC or Mac device using the USB port. Finally, Boss gives you 57 unique patterns with two versions each. Here's something you should know before buying the Boss RC5. There are a ton of useful features in this pedal, which some users may find hard to get used to. The Boss RC5 is everything you could want on a loop pedal within a compact body. This is a unit that won't let you down. And there you have it folks, the five must-have Boss pedals that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like, and if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, check out this one on electric guitars on the left, or this one on lo-fi guitar pedals on the right. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.